my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be updated for my future videos. So for today's content, we are going to create two things that I wish I knew before I moved into Australia. So it's a bit similar to the video that I've already shared with you, like the top 10 things that you need to know before moving in. Um, but I thought it's not like a detailed video and this one, I'd like to give you more information about the things that you need to know. So once you get here, you don't get shocked about what you're going to expect and you would be prepared on what's going to happen. I moved in about seven years ago here in Australia and there are heaps of things that I wish I knew before I moved in. So these are the things that I'm going to share with you today. So let's start with the first thing the sun so the sun in australia is very very strong australia has a massive hole on the ozone layer so kapag uminit especially during summertime we can reach 42 degrees celsius and we mean it's really really hot and kapag lumabas ka ng bahay mo like you'd really feel yung parang sobrang tapang ng araw and I reckon that's the reason why a lot of people in Australia are having skin cancer too. So, ayan, sobrang tapang ng araw. So, if you're going here, make sure that you bring tons of um, uh, moisturizer. You bring tons of sunblock para maging protected ang skin nyo. So, yes, that's what I normally do if I go out during summertime especially. Or if the sun is up, I put sunblock yeah, to be safe. Number two, on the other hand, kung masyadong matapang ang araw, we also have the cold days. And if I say cold, it's really, really cold. So, we can go up to negative degrees sometimes on winter time, though it doesn't snow, um, especially dito sa area namin, but it is still cold, especially during winter time. And, ayan, and yung winter time namin, we also have like lots of rains that makes it a little bit colder. And related to the weather, all right? Number three, you cannot predict the weather in Australia. You could have like four seasons in a day. Yes, ganon siya ka fickle minded. <laughs> um, lalabas ka ng bahay mo, it's sunny, pero pag uwi mo, it's raining. So it's pretty much common, especially sa Melbourne. Yes, so if you are traveling, some of my friends who visit Australia are always asking me what to wear, especially if they know that there are different seasons in Australia. And I'd say to them, bring mix of clothes because sometimes it's going to be hot, sometimes it's going to be cold, sometimes it's raining. So, good thing to know. Let's move on to item number four. Item number four is I recommend that you guys be familiarized with their slangs. Yes, because Australians, they tend to um, use their slangs and tend to shorten words. The first day of working here in Australia, my colleagues doesn't call me Susie or doesn't call me Susanna. They want it to be shortened, so they call me Suze. It's good to be familiarized with their slangs because um, it's easier for you to communicate with them. So the first time I've heard a slang flat out like a lizard drinking and I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. So it means you're really, 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 really busy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the meaning of that. So they tend to use a lot of those in conversation. And I think for you to really connect with Australians, you need to be familiarized with their slangs. Um, another example that I've also covered in my video that I with you before, it's service station or petrol station, they call it servo. Afternoon, they call it arvo, uh, barbecue for Barbie. So I thought like when someone told me, you know, come into my place and let's have some Barbie. I was like, what, Barbie though? No, it's not, it's like barbecue. Number five, yeah. Number five, let's talk about cockroaches. Yes, cockroaches. There are cockroaches in Australia. However, ang gusto ko lang sa mga cockroaches dito, hindi sila nagfeeling na butterfly. So, they don't have wings. <laughs> mga cockroaches dito. So, 
Um, yun lang yung maganda kasi hindi nakakatakot. So, if you see a cockroach, hindi ka matatakot kasi hindi siya lumilipad. Yes, but there are some cockroaches then. Uh, I've seen a few. Number six, let's move on to wildlife. Yes, there are heaps of wildlife here in Australia. So, um, they say Australia is very famous when it comes to having a lot of um, poisonous um, snakes and or deadlier snakes and um, spiders. However, in my stay here, I haven't encountered um, a deadly one. Uh, I've seen some spiders, pero yung mga maliliit lang na parang meron din tayo sa Philippines. But yeah, and I haven't seen any snake that's, that's poisonous and I would not love to see one. <laughs> I would not love to have an encounter to one of them. So, ayan. But yeah, we also have um, a lot of possums. So, possums, they look like rats. Um, ayan, nakikita mo siya sa mga trees. And a lot of times, during midnight, Meron mga kumakalabog sa aming roof. And those are possums na mga, you know, naglalaro or hinahabol ng pusa. And there's a lot of them. Ayan, pero hindi naman sila um, nakakasakit. Hindi naman sila harmful, I think. Uh, unless threatened or, you know, sinaktan mo rin sila. Next, let's move on to the next one. Now, if you are considering to go to Australia, make sure that you are aware of the road rules because there are heaps of things that you need to know. And highly suggested is for you to have a car while you're here as well because a car is really a necessity. And, you know, may mga bus station, different modes of transportation naman. However, mas convenient kung marunong ka mag-drive and you know how to follow the road rules. Just an additional information for everyone. We are driving on the left side of the road. And your steering wheel is on the right side. So it's totally different from how it is in the Philippines and different countries. Also, mostly 70% of the vehicles here in Australia are on uh, automatic transmission. So it's not really hard to drive kung saan ka sa automatic. Um, Manidibar Goha the first time. Her, um, as you go along, be familiarized. But again, please, you know, check the road rules and policies um, if you are planning to drive in Australia. Different modes of transportation. We have buses, trams, trains, and etc. Um, it's still really convenient if you know how to drive. Um, kasi yung minsan mga train station is really far from your house or the bus stations are really far from your house. Very strict when it comes to, you know, beating the red lights or um, over speeding. Those minor things you need to be aware of. Kasi one wrong move and you will get penalized. And I think, you know, um, may mga fines um, averaging or minimum of $250 for those things. And um, if you have like an Australian license, if ever you've got an Australian Australian license, may mga point system yan. So every time you um, break a policy or break a rule, then uh, madidetak yun sa iyong um, scores. Wages. So let's move on to wages. I really say that Australia would have the highest minimum wage um, across different countries. I've had a look at UK as well, um, comparing a person that works in a retail shop. It's really a massive difference um, compared to the starting rate that they have because here, um, as a casual employee, you'll be paid 27 or nearly $27 per hour. You know, um, the highest minimum wage that I've ever seen. And take note, it's only on regular days, like weekdays. So the public holiday rates and your Saturday rates and Sunday rates would be different. So it's like double time and a half if it's a public holiday. And yeah, yun talaga yung mga masarap pasukan, you know. Uh, talagang wag kang absent sa work kapag public holiday because you'd really earn lots of mula. Next one, how the workplace in Australia is. Um, is they don't have hierarchy. So we, we know that in America or in the Philippines, we, yes, we report to our higher up or like a manager or our supervisor. So, and you can really feel that there's like, they are your supervisor and just like this. Have that hierarchy here. I can just normally 
call i can just casually call my boss by the first name and have a chat or personal chat with them without really thinking that they are you know higher than me but of course you still have to maintain that respect to them however it they don't like say you know call me boss call me ma'am call me sir we don't have that here so that's something that i really love um here in australia because everyone is equal and even the managers they work with you like they just don't command or they don't they don't just tell you what to do um in the workplace they they really um do the same thing that you're doing so it's it's really good last but not least barbie is a thing so as i said barbie is barbecue so it's really a thing wherever you go if, if you go to a park you would see or a beach you would see barbecue stations so meron talaga silang allotted na mga parang places kung saan ka pwedeng mag barbecue so you don't really have to bring your grill there pero limited siya so parang first come first serve however um yon take turns talaga nung paggamit but still you know having that um, barbecue station is really handy especially you know if you want to invite your friends let's you go to the park and um catch up so you don't have to stress about bringing you know uh, charcoal and your barbecue stands and stuff like that so there you have it available and yeah they really love your barbecues and that's all i would like to share with you guys and hopefully i was able to give you information that would be vital if you are considering to travel to visit australia in the near future if you're going to go for a visit please do email me i'll leave my email address on the description box we could probably meet up and i can show you around so yeah that's it thanks for watching my videos and hopefully you will give a like on this video comment down below and share the video and remember sharing is caring thank you very much guys for tuning in and i'll see you next time bye all right it is all right it is shout out time let's shout out these people who has been really supportive um so i think youtube channel uh, Lito Mercado of Singapore, Malu Paris of Singapore, Zaino World TV, yan my YouTube channel din siya. He is my cousin, uh, Renel from Qatar. Ah, no. Uh, he is my cousin from Zaino World TV uh, from Bahrain. He is my cousin. So please um, support that YouTube channel as well. Ayan Mejilano Pangkulan. Um, Wang and Japet Solis and I would like to uh, greet Kuya Japet a uh, belated happy birthday and happy happy birthday sa aking pamangkin na si Danica Flor Lindog um, yes God bless Ine